Once again, a very warm welcome to everyone. Um, welcome to the prayer group and to this session here where we're connecting with God, learning more from Him about His ways. And I hope this session on confessing scriptures has blessed you. You can take whichever scripture speaks out to you in your personal prayer, customize it and use it. They are all powerful spiritual weapons given to us by God. And do not be limited to only these. There are a lot more uh, other scriptures from the Bible that will speak out to you as you continue to read them. So you can use those as well, but just as you customize these, as you've heard them being recited now, you can customize any of those, personalize them, make them your personal prayer, prayer point as well, and speak them to the glory and in the name of Jesus. So we now get into our testimony session. Praise God. Who would like to start by giving glory to God for what he has done in their life? Brother Rasul, I'd like to thank every, everyone. I'll thank the Lord for um, for this season uh, the, that we celebrate uh, for him and all the gifts that he's given us, our, our families and our friends, the Holy Spirit prayer group, all this season, this Christmas season. It's all about him. And I just thank the lovely gods, of those, some of those families who are even made to... Uh, have to work through this period of the Christmas season, the um, the presence of God and will be always upon him. And, and it says there in the scripture, it goes, uh, uh, blessed be God for us. Uh, be, uh, be strong and of good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of him. For the Lord thy God, it is that God's with thee. He will not fail you or forsake you. Whatever you do and wherever you go, I'd like to thank you. Spirit of the Lord in this special season for this break. We'll like to thank the Lord for for even our work for even this little break for two weeks and um, you know just to uh, we haven't got uh, we got sort of like no plans of of uh, what to do, but um, I know that I'll be just enjoying the presence of the Lord with everyone in my prayers, in my thoughts, and whoever I think of. Uh, the I like to thank Jesus inviting to um, cover and seal his precious blood to everyone that, that I think of this Christmas and the Holy Spirit prayer group their families and extended the family seeing the strength throughout the world. Thank you. Yes. And the peace of the Lord be all those over all those people in the war to war torn countries and in this time of troubles they draw closer to him and let him do his uh, his miracles and wonders and uh, let him uh, open the doors to new uh, beginnings for them. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, we also we pray for peace in all those countries ravaged by war, but we also pray for all those that are in the center of the storm in Northern Australia, in Cairns, and surrounding areas where there's a tropical cyclone that has been flash flooding. A lot of people have lost power in their houses. So we pray for their safety as well, that they are protected and kept safe. That God releases his mercy and grace upon each of these lives. We thank you, Father. Yes, who else would like to share their testimony? We well, praise and glory to our Lord Jesus, brother. I'd like Thanks to God. say a very big thank you to our other Father, our Lord Jesus, and the Holy Spirit for all the anointings upon this group, all the powerful teachings, prayers, the praise and worship, and so many miracles at every moment. And thank you, Lord Jesus, for the wonderful reconciliation evenings at parishes throughout the world and for the forgiveness of our sins. And thank you, Lord Jesus, for my great medical report and thank you Holy Spirit for the opportunity I had to share the gospel of John 1 1 to 18 with someone asking them to read it out loud as it's about Jesus who became flesh and only he is love and everything comes from him and thank you Trine God for all the members of this group for our guardian angels and our destiny helpers and thank you Jesus that I could explain to someone 
that the chain messages asking for it to be sent on in order to receive blessings is not from Jesus, as his love for us is unconditional, and we need to love him in return. And thank you, Holy Spirit, that we live our life according to the divine will of God, putting Jesus above all. And thank you, Mother Mary, for the beautiful consecration, for the protection under your powerful mantle. And thank you so much to all your brothers and sisters. Blessed Christmas to you all. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Amen. Thank you, sister. Yes, you are a little soft. You might have to increase volume. We can't hear you. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot okay. better now. Um, uh, okay, I'm on speaker, so uh, I'd like to give praise, glory, and thanksgiving to God, to Jesus, to the Holy Spirit for everything He has done for me in the last month. It has been an incredible, incredible journey. I cannot begin to thank God enough. I cannot end thanking Him. Um, my daughter got married last month. Uh, it's fact, in fact, it's going to be a month uh, on Saturday, on the 18th of November. And uh, what a grand event it turned out to be. Initially, we were having so many issues, uh, financial constraints, and there were so many difficulties, things were not happening, just a lot of things going on. But long story short, um, you know, I just left everything up to God. I kept claiming the scriptures, Ephesians 3.20, Ezekiel 37, and uh, everything, Psalm 91, that Ron me 28, Isaiah 54, 11, and also um, many, several other scriptures. And I just kept praying with my faith in God. There was a time when I would not even pay for things that I'd ordered for. I will not get into the nitty gritties, but, you know, even the things that I'd made for my daughter. Uh, and I just, I was left stumped. But I didn't give up. I I did not ask anyone for financial support. I knew it. I just claimed that God, this is your daughter. I am your daughter. We are blessed. We are your children. We are saved by your death on the cross, by your resurrection. And you are going to get us through this. And he provided. He never failed me. And no matter how much um, I thank him, it's never going to be enough. Um, it's it's overwhelming, incredibly overwhelming. I'm completely humbled and uh, everything was perfect. I just blessed and covered everything, sealed everything with the blood of Jesus and it came true. There is one. Two, we had many spiritual battles. We had, there was a spiritual warfare. We had spirit, there was attacks on us, spiritual attacks on me and my daughter. Uh, and uh, we overcame that with the guidance of Prophet Rasul. Uh, I, we were just being disturbed in the middle of the night. It was really dark and scary, but I refused to be uh, overshadowed by that. And, you know, I refused to be afraid. I kept speaking on top of my voice and fighting it the way I was guided and, you know, he said, Jesus, I eat your bread and I drink your blood. You are in me and I am you. And I claimed everything, all the scriptures. And I fought it in the, with the blood of Jesus and with the name, powerful name on Jesus. Indeed, it, victory prevailed. <clears throat> and I thank Jesus for that. What I'd like to also share is that uh, recently, one of my daughter's friends uh, is also getting married. She experienced the same a similar situation but worse someone has actually did black magic on her they found things and everything my kids my daughters uh, brought her to me and then i prayed over her i guided her with the same the same thing i did i asked her to uh, do the same thing and uh, and it worked uh, and she she turned to the word herself it was a new it was it was um, difficult for me to explain to her, but she just trusted me. I said, you have to trust God and know that he prevails above everything. 
there is no greater power than him and the blood of jesus is the most powerful and all praise and glory to god she has been saved and i continue to speak to her and guide her about the scriptures so yes all praise glory to god and i know that whatever he does is for our best i cannot thank jesus our lord and savior and the holy spirit for being with me and guiding me and my family and for the, i cannot there's a list of things i have to thank god for but in short it's this is my testimony it's long overdue it was just not getting a window so i've actually stepped out of the office to do this so yes all glory to god thank you jesus thank you holy spirit thank you heavenly father <clears throat> thank you oh, and one more thing sorry yes. i had yes yes go ahead go ahead uh i was uh, we made it a point it was my uh, wish to sing uh, to give god la- gratitude and thanksgiving for everything is done in our lives for bringing me and my girls through uh on the wedding day and believe it or not i lost my voice uh it was not to sing for the wedding it was to sing for god we, we chose a praise and worship which you'll actually sang last week um let us worship god here we are to worship which my daughter and her husband sang and she taught him how to sing it and uh, me and my other daughter were supposed to sing as well where this is where i lost my voice but i kept thanking god that i could sing even how however little audible i could be because this is what i had to do to give god gratitude and believe me on the day itself i managed to <laughs> sing something and it felt so good it felt so powerful and my other daughter who was not willing to sing because of several reasons she was suddenly left with no choice but to sing and it dawned on me and it dawned on her that god actually suppressed my voice so her voice could be heard because she's actually a true singer and she was overwhelmed after she sang that worship song to god she was just overwhelmed and she said mom i i am glad you pushed me to do this because you know it's it was it was a great feeling so yes it's in the little things that i noticed that many many little things that god has done wonderful things for us and he works in very mysterious ways we cannot understand it but if we think back and we reflect on what has happened and how the we we i understand now it's a process it's a journey that we are all put through that everything happens for a reason there are no obstacles everything happens for a reason so all glory to god i'm sorry i've taken up so much time <sighs> thank no, you no, so much good. it is good praise god thank you jesus thank you jesus this is a battle this is a woman of faith and this is a battle each of us faces but you have the choice whether to remain silent and suffer under those attacks or to use the tools that you have gained and then fight back we are called to fight back if you look at the bible from cover to cover start to end there is only one subject that it talks about in every generation in all the different stories one word for all of that is faith and the minute people lost faith that's where they ended up in trouble but when they showed faith he started working again in their favor and that's our biggest lesson from that book if you can pick one lesson this should be it trust in him that's also another way of knowing if you are in god's will if everything is going very smooth and you don't need to go to him you are certainly not in his will if you are in his will there will always be battles to fight and if you are willing to show faith he will always stand by you in those battles he will not let it down so praise god thank you jesus powerful testimony who else would like to share their testimony may i hello brother yes sister janet veera you can go after her then yes a uh, praise and glory to holy trinity and i thank for the breath i thank for the um change in the family i thank for giving me the 
a power to <clears throat> rebuke um, every fiery dart that comes against me. And I thank the Lord for uh, many blessings uh, through this prayer group and especially that I can reach to Brother Russell whenever I need. I thank the Lord for praying for uh, something and then I uh, wait upon him, trusting him completely and surrendering completely and uh, uh, from the little things to the big things like for an example even um, losing a car key that God guides me to the um, the Holy Spirit guides me to the place when I'm looking for something my eyes goes where exactly it's supposed to go so this is he guides me with his eyes and I praise the Lord for every little things, including driving, including uh, healing from a major surgery. I thank the Lord um, for a young man from our church member uh, who is a good, uh, who is a sincere servant of God who studied hard to become uh, to get a doctorate in physical therapy and then um, about a month ago uh, he started to get a headache and then I was uh, not aware of this and last Sunday I saw him lost so much weight and he looked different. And when I found out that uh, they, they have done a biopsy um, on his throat, uh, side of the throat, to see the lymph not has swollen and he had high fever and uh, none of the painkillers were working. So I was disturbed by this. Uh, because I always looked up to the family that when they work together from sisters, uh, the, for the whole family work together for vacation Bible or anything in the church that they are together supporting for every need that need to be done in the church. So I decided that um, I would uh, just use the first three I confess. Um, boldly and then I changed uh, everything to his name and I sent it to the whole family and uh, he's going for uh, more tests and waiting for the results for the biopsy so I told them in advance that uh, there is no negative thought and the thought should shall be everything based on this I confess boldly and also that I believe and along with this group that who are listening to my testimony now that uh, uh, we cancel uh, every negative report and he is completely healed uh, by the stripes and wounds of Jesus. I also wanted to uh, thank the Lord for, for protecting me uh, from many dangers. I wanted to thank the Lord uh, for throughout the year that uh, and throughout my lifetime that uh, that uh, my my life uh, is, uh, is 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 a light of the Lord for others and then God is using me as an instrument in any way. Um, I also felt the love through uh, others when I started uh, working after the medical leave and when I saw the staffs embracing me um, I, I humbled myself and I thank the Lord for everything that uh, 
uh, he guided me and I praise and thank you Lord for everything. There are countless blessings, uh, the days and months and not enough and I, I worship you Lord and I thank the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Brother, can I go next? Yes, please go ahead. Uh, sorry, Sister Veera wanted to speak. Okay, she okay. asked earlier. You can go after her. Yes, go ahead, Sister Veera. Hello, brother. I yes. just want to praise and thank the Lord for all his countless blessings upon me, on my family and my Brisbane family. Uh, I would like to thank the Lord for the success of my son's exams. He passed his VC exam uh, with a good grade and I thank the Lord in advance for giving him the right pathway and the university in which he's looking for. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Yes, Sister Daphne. Yeah. Uh I'd like to thank and praise the Lord for all that he has done and doing in our lives. Especially, I also want to thank the Lord for, for the good health that he's blessed us and my family. I thank the Lord in advance for all that he will do for us. I also thank the Lord for the people in our lives, my family, my friends, my relatives, and also this prayer group that has taught me to stay strong in very difficult and challenging times by praising and thanking the Lord and also by claiming the scriptures. I also thank the Lord for the 13 years of schooling of my children. I just can't say how grateful and thankful I am to the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Mother Mary. Thank you, all the angels and saints. And thank you to this Brisbane prayer group that has made me strong and has helped me to cling to the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, who also would like to share their testimony of what the Lord is doing in their life. Can I go? Yes, go ahead, please. Yes. I would like to thank the Almighty God for giving me three years with my sickness. It was in January 21 when I was diagnosed with this illness and the GP had told me live one day at a time. The journey has been tough, very, very difficult, but thanks to everybody's prayers, Brother Savio praying over me, then Russell praying for me, Daphne always praying for me, and everybody all across the globe were praying for me. And yes, three years have passed. It, it is a very, very difficult and tough journey with a lot of sufferings. But yes, thank God for everything. Thank you, Jesus, for giving me a family, a husband, patient husband, and for everything. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. I'm just looking up uh, where's this at. If I can put that in the chat, it'll be great. Just give me a second. It is Psalm 92. I'm just looking at which was 13 and 14, I think. you can claim that in your personal prayer every single day that would be great it's from 12 to 14 so that's Psalm 92 12 to 14 it says, the righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall bear fruit in old age. They shall be fresh and flourishing. Now, everywhere it says they and those you put I. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So you can say, I am planted in the house of the Lord, so I shall flourish in the courts of my God. I shall still bear fruit in old age, and I shall be fresh and flourishing. 
there's another version that says pull up sap. I have to just compare other versions and see which one that was. Uh, that's the ESV, English Standard Version. Let me give you the English Standard Version there in the chat again. Because says they shall be, they are ever full of sap and green. That's what that last line changes to. So you can say, I am planted in the house of the Lord. I flourish in the courts of my God. I shall bear fruit in an old age and I shall be ever full of sap and green. Green means never wither. That's the blessing of Psalm 1 verse 3. That's what we are claiming here in this. Okay. Thank you. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Yes, who else would like to share their testimony? Hello, Brother Russell. This is Rashmi here. Yes, go ahead. Sister. I'd like to pray, praise and thank the Lord for all the gifts of life, for all the miracles and wonders I experience every moment of my life. Uh, there is nothing I have asked from the Lord and not caught. So I just praise give all praise and glory to God. I have come to Perth on the 5th. Uh, I'm very happy to be here. Everything is, uh, although it's very cold for me, they say it is summer year and you should not feel cold, but okay, I'm adjusting. And um, I was getting severe pain in my right hand from morning. I don't know whether because of the cold, I'm curling myself and sleeping. So, but... Uh, Thank you, Sister Shanine, when you prayed in the praise and worship and asked Jesus to touch us all. And I just lifted up my hand and I gave all glory to God, praising and thanking the Lord. And I'm feeling very fine in that hand. I feel so I can go back and start work in the kitchen. I also like to praise and thank the Lord for uh, Dhruv, who has received his... Uh, Admission, uh, he has applied today for it. and uh, He had applied long back, but he's received it from the college today. And he's confirmed of studying back here. I just praise and thank the Lord. Brother, you had given us Joshua 1, 8, 1, 9, which we kept confessing. Uh, all, Raj would never forget. He would remember it so properly and, you know, confess it. And today we are blessed that Dhruv has got his admission here. Thank you. Thank you for teaching us how to pray, Brother Russell. I would also like to thank uh, the Janela and team for the rosary group. I told, I always say that whenever we pray during the rosary and the divine mercy, all our wishes and every intention is fulfilled in that. There's not a single one that you ask and it's not fulfilled. Many people, we just... Just say the rosary, the thing, but every moment, every word of that rosary, when the intentions are picked up, you feel blessed. Raj said that only. It means we are praying for, uh, for uh, he, he said that the decade which was given to him, they prayed for uh, pregnant women. And we knew Kiran is pregnant from the past few months. But then we were like, you know, Mama always says, no, you should not mention, you should not. But we never believed that way. We know our God is great. And uh, Kiran is four months pregnant. And she's doing well. She had lots of nausea problem. But every day, because of the prayers as the group uh, during the Divine Mercy and Rosary, they should always pray and lift up pregnant women. And Kiran has not having any problem of nausea, anything now today. Like from past um, 15 to 20 days, she has said, no, I don't have any nausea problem. I don't have. So really, it's really, you know, spending that time for that rosary is really helpful. I give all praise and glory to God. 
thank you jesus thank you for everything that is happening all good things i and one more thing brother i just you know now i i go to the shops or anything and i keep looking at things and i keep converting but my son is what mama what you want take what you want i was so happy and i just wanted the scriptures the i come first boldly in bombay i have it on paper so it's very easy to read and you know to the year when australia had to do it from the mobile so yesterday i just told them that i want it and it's it came yesterday evening it they brought it and gave it to me all praise and glory to god thank you jesus thank you thank you brother brothers and sisters all god bless you all praise god thank you jesus the teacher is the holy spirit he is the ultimate teacher we all learn from him and and in fact what you are talking about now even with your hand that we also touched on it in this morning's reflection but that's application of mark 11 verse 24 where when jesus was teaching us to pray he said when you stand praying believe that you have received so by raising your hand that's exactly what you did you believe that you have received your healing and you took it it is up to us he always said your faith has healed you he never said i will heal you or i have healed you not once yes brother so that's up to us so thank you sister for applying it and i hope others that are listening have learned from that it is up to us to exercise our faith see it comes back to faith again when you stand in faith then you become like blind bartimaeus you force him to stop so praise god thank you jesus who else would like to share what the lord is doing in their life anyone would like to share about the relationship or the journey that they are going with the holy spirit on can i share brother yes go ahead brother yeah so i just want to thank and praise god for always being kind and merciful to me i'm overseas so obviously i can't really take part the way i normally take part but yeah i can come here i got a very uh, uh, severe dose of viral fever and i was really rebuking that spirit and the lord taught me through that you know that humbling experience that you know uh, you have to have the word inside you not outside it has to be within and i was using that relationship with the lord and uh, in that suffering i was just thanking and praising god and now i'm completely healed i know that and uh, it's all out of it but yeah, it's just that the lord kept on being merciful and kind he was talking to me all the time scriptures i was using like rebuking using mark 11:14 uh, believing that you know that the lord has already done everything for me using yeah. isaiah 55 yeah. it's like me teaching the scripture and trying to apply it in my own life uh, it's so different when you apply it and it is so practical but yeah the walk with the lord has been wonderful i believe is without the word of god we can do nothing because the word of god is alive and active and the lord it it's so important when we get attacks from the evil one especially during this i believe this is purely an attack it is that you need to be always on guard and always uh, you know having the scripture ready because you need to have efficiency six uh you know 12 to 6 18 all the armor the shield and the sword of the spirit which is god's word you have to have yourself with the precious blood of jesus and when this happened just because traveling overseas i couldn't have access to the word for one or two days and the moment the moment you don't have access to the word that's when your spirit falls a little bit and then there's the other one that tries to take advantage so it shows so importantly that we who are believers here uh, we have to turn to god's word daily on a daily basis as a need because john 663 says that my word is spirit and it is life so unless you have life in your spirit there's no way you can uh, fight the evil one because he is on always there in 1 peter 5 we know that that he's always yes. on waiting for a chance to devour us so this spiritual conflict and battle was like experienced by me and i was i was knowing that at all times it is just scripture speaking believing and faith is always believing the invisible it's not seeing with your physical eyes calling into being what you can't see and calling that into a, like romans 4:17 or any of scriptures yes. of those lines because yes. you're calling things into being god taught me using the scripture he said come on use them speak them out okay <clears throat> whenever you get a spirit of death coming in trying to tell you that you know you'll be snatched away 
you use psalm 118 verse 17 okay that is one scripture i use a lot because i know this is how we have to fight this battle and in the spirit realm it's so real uh, using john 14 19 because because i live he shall live use psalm 91 which says he will with long life will i save him satisfy him show unto him my salvation now these are scriptures i have made it part of me and there are other scriptures which i keep using uh, and and we have to use these scriptures as a warrior every day whenever we feel attacked or whichever spirit is trying to trouble us we have to use our scriptures to fight back and believe that you know this is it because we are in a real warfare it's not just a half yes. warfare it's a real warfare and and the enemy is real but invisible and many times we can only see with our physical eyes but we do not realize that the things that are not seen are eternal whereas things that are seen are temporal that's 2 corinthians 4 17 18 so we need to apply those things in our life and that's where i realized the relationship with the holy spirit is so important and the connection with the word is critical because if you don't have the word in you however good you are whoever you may be and however powerful you may be you are just you become weak and that's when the devil will come and he only looks for people who are weak where he can attack that's how it is so, yes so it's important that we all keep to the word stick to the word and just ensure that we have our own personal time of study daily using that word and using that in our warfare. And that's where the I confess can come in so handy when you know the scriptures well. Thank you, Jesus. Just wanted to glorify God. Thank you, Lord. Yes, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And as Brother Vivek was sharing his testimony, there was just one scripture that the Holy Spirit put on my heart. John 15 verse 7 where he says, where Jesus said, if you abide in me, that is a relationship with him, and my words abide in you. So you start speaking, meditating on those words, muttering them, understanding, digesting them till it becomes real and you keep speaking it. So if you abide in me and my words abide in you, then you shall ask anything and it will be done for you. Simple and straight, you're lying there in plain sight, but very profound when you meditate on that. So brother's uh, testimony is... Uh, an example of application of that scripture. See, it's all about applying scriptures word and the teachings what Jesus has given us through those scriptures. So, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for that powerful testimony. We're hearing, see, a few testimonies now of people not giving up on their fight, but willing to stand. You take your stand. And it's only by two things. One is the blood of the lamb and the word of your testimony. What you speak in that battle there is what decides what the outcome will be. You can only then overcome the enemy. That's Revelations 12, 11. So praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, who else would like to share their testimony? Brother Russell, I'd like to um, give a testimony. I'd like to praise and thank the Lord. Um, we have been um, praying for my brother-in-law who had brain yes. surgery and we we I just praise and thank the Lord for that successful surgery and he had more surgery this week because the part of the brain that that the tumor was on has affected his his urinating and his bowels and they've had to do a bypass this week so I praise and thank the Lord for that successful surgery and um, infection that is said in that he is already healed of that and we praise and we thank you lord and <clears throat> the day before his surgery he's not a person to um pray out loud at all um but the day before his surgery i said the unity protection prayer for him with my sister and that is my adorable jesus may our feet journey together may our hands gather in unity May our hearts beat in unison. May our souls be in harmony. May our thoughts be as one. May our ears listen to the silence together. May our glances profoundly penetrate each other. And may our lips pray together to gain mercy from the eternal Father. Amen. So what happened Amen. is when he came out of surgery <clears throat> and in recovery, and it was during the night, and there was a crucifix on the wall in front of him and the words that we had spoken 
that our glances profoundly penetrate each other actually took place. So what happened during the night is there, my, and, and this is what he has told uh, my sister, is there was a light coming from the crucifix to him all night. And he said, Jesus was looking at me all night and I couldn't sleep. And um, that has profoundly changed him. Wow. It just goes to show that the words that we speak out, they don't come back empty. So Amen. their glances actually profoundly penetrated each other all night. So, Lord, we just praise and thank you. I praise and thank you for all our employment, Lord, uh, all our jobs, all my children's jobs, I, and I, I claim them still, Lord, in Jesus' name. Praise and thank Amen. you. And I wish everyone a blessed Christmas, and, and I thank the Lord for this prayer group. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I'd like to thank the Lord as well for the privilege to be part of this prayer house where we are able to journey together as one corporate family united by our DNA of spiritual DNA of faith. And I thank the Lord for all the wonders, the signs, the miracles that he's working in each of our lives. The fact that we're able to apply scriptures, that they have come alive to us to the extent that we're applying them in our prayer, in our battles, and we're seeing victory in those battles. We're, we're causing damage to the kingdom of the enemy. So I'd like to thank you, Jesus, for all, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you for all that you are doing in each of these lives. I'd like to thank you personally, Holy Spirit, for the privilege that each of us gets that you choose to come to live within us. You have that. You have your own mind. You are a person and you have the right to say no, looking at us, knowing that we don't deserve it. Yet you choose to come to live personally in each of us and initiate that relationship from your side. It's not we initiating that relationship. It is you who are. I'd like to thank you, Lord, for that that honor itself, that is more than anything else. The highest name that can be named anywhere, his very own spirit and he himself coming and saying, I want that friendship with you, even if you don't want it. And he's willing to be with us, patiently wait until we come and say, yes, I think I want to be your friend as well. So I'd like to thank you, Lord, for all that you are doing in each of these lives, for choosing to come to live in each one that is part of this prayer house, this family. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Yes, who else would like to share their personal story of what they, what they are going through on their journey with, with Jesus and the Holy Spirit? Uh, brother, this is uh, Josephine. Yes, go ahead, sister. Um, I thank the Lord for the um, I mean, teachings that I'm hearing every day from the morning encounter and thank the Brisbane Prayer Group. Especially I was touched today by the bronze serpent on the pole. Um, I'm going through a tough, uh, you know, I bought a property and there is a, some legal issues and going on. And I had a little bit of a suffering on that. So I went to the church in the afternoon today. And I was looking into the cross. When I saw the cross, you know, that was what coming in my mind that uh, it's a bronze serpent standing, you know, there. Then I just told the Lord, I give everything unto you. Whatever you want to do, do, Lord. I'm not going to fight. I can't fight anymore. I just give it to you. So I'm not, I'm not bothered about what is going to happen. But I, when I came out of the church, it was quite a peace because I'm not going to fight anymore. I've just left to the Lord. So. Then the, both the conveyances were fighting. The one is saying, I will take to the court and this thing. I said, oh, whatever you guys do, do. God will be there. He will come and fight for me and he will do. So that is, uh, you know, that uh, faith and the trust and the confidence that God has given through the teachings. I really thank and praise the Lord. Second thing I was touched is the, uh, yesterday when uh, during the prayer, uh, brother, you were saying that one person is enough to stand in the gap and neg negotiate. Like each one of us can become as a intercessor for everybody. Yes. You know, like uh, I was thinking, Lord, am I worthy for it? Um, How can I grow to be an intercessor there? You know, just please grow in me. And the, uh, he has given me a thirst to be like that. So I thank the Lord just for, I mean, I always envy about people like, you know, oh, they are able to like when, when our sisters are saying, oh, I prayed and everything. Why am I not able to be like that, Lord, everything? But yesterday, 
I felt that I will be able to be one day like that, you know, just slowly, slowly growing. I can see the growth in me. So I thank the Lord for bringing me to the prayer group and making me listen to the teachings every day and go, go and, you know, read that back and grow in it. I really, really thank the Lord and for the group, brother. And I always encourage everybody just to go back and read. I mean, even if you have listened in the morning encounter, just go back and listen. They are really gems. They are really comforting words. And you can grow really. I thank the Lord for that. Amen. Amen. Praise God. If you are thinking whether I am worthy to pray or not, I don't know how to pray. Can I be an intercessor? Look at and meditate on Romans 8 verse 26. It says, when we do not know what to pray for, then the Spirit Himself makes intercession on our behalf. So if you are standing in that gap, you are demonstrating your faith, you've taken the first step, He takes a step towards you. He says, okay, let me help you with that prayer. Now let He pray on your behalf then. That's why sometimes when we get down to praying in tongues, and that is tongues for intercession, you will see that even the content of your praying tongues changes sometimes because that's what he's doing. He's stepping in there. He's taking over saying, let me carry that load. You will now pray on my energy, not on your physical energy. So do not worry about, Lord, what can I do? We need to step out in faith and say, Lord, I offer my body. I offer my tongue to pray and I offer my time. You take over, Holy Spirit. I know you are with me. You dwell within me, inside of me. You have made this your tabernacle. This is your temple. And I am facing that very temple and I am praying. And Solomon has a covenant that when we pray facing the temple, that prayer must be an answered prayer. We stand in that covenant by faith and we say, Lord, I am facing your temple. I am surrendering all my faculties to you. I start praying now. You take over. Let him take over. Trust on him. He is the big, the most two, see, two thirds of the Trinity, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit, are intercessors. One is in heaven, the other is here on earth with us. We are covered on both realms. All we need to do is step out in faith and say, Lord, I surrender my faculties now. I don't know what to pray for. Now, you may have heard Brother Vivek teach this as well, where he's 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 quoted a story of someone not knowing what to pray. And they were just led by the Holy Spirit and they started praying A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And you let him take over from there. That is just exercising a faith and saying, I don't know what to pray for. I'm just going to make a start. You take over. If you trust him, he will not let you down 100%. So praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Who else would like to share their testimony? Brother Sharon. Yes, go ahead, sister. Good evening. Um... I would like to thank the Lord for this entire week that has gone by and for keeping my family safe, keeping us all um, united and so loved and so cared for. Um, we never have lack of anything. And I realized that the battle of the mind, whatever the devil tries to tell you in your mind, um, it stays in your mind. Of course, you are doing what God wants you to do in your decisions. And that's really what keeps me going. But Things come in my mind. I've realized that I have learned to control and tell my mind that I'm not listening to you because God is in control. And also, um, I would like to talk about the part um, from a couple of years up until now, I've noticed so much of difference with um, knowing what the word contains in it, like the actual knowledge of the word. Um, it has started to grow over the years and um, as I find myself growing in the knowledge of the word, I find like nothing really disturbs me. I am in a certain calm, in a certain peace that, you know, only, only the Lord knows and I know that it's working in a way that um, doesn't matter what anyone says, what people say, wherever we are, there's always criticism, there's always people speaking about and trying to show you what you know you've not done right or you aren't um it doesn't matter because when the lord steps in i think everything just goes out and it feels like every day when we pack up and we update on the knowledge of the word um it opens up like a new dimension every day it's like a kaleidoscope as all the you know, different angles to look at your life and the perspectives, but 
it also is a nourishing for the soul um for your um you know to create to create something different for you something you've never known before so um there's this some very beautiful things happening in the spirit um when you praise and thank god when you're calling on the heavenly hosts of angels saints and um yeah mother mary and her intercessions um there are some saints i come across and i didn't even know in my lifetime they exist but um when i read about their life and how they were so close to the lord through their suffering um it just makes me know that there is so much more to the word of god so much more to god's love than we ever would ever know and i think romans 8:28 has opened that up for me a couple of years back um i believe totally that that verse has changed so much for everything around me and me within i have um i found find myself so grateful the day i found that verse and yeah my knowledge of the scripture slowly started to build up from there so i would like to thank god for everything he does for everyone um in my household and my um extended family friends at work and also in this beautiful group the strength that i gained from being on the brisbane prayer group is just amazing um and i share it with my family and um i just hope it keeps keeps spreading and keeps getting in- introduced to all those who are searching for the lord and that deep relationship with him which is so beautiful um a relationship that will never you know never abandon you never leave you alone um never leave you lost for words so yeah thank you jesus thank you brother for the morning encounters they are just absolutely gold to the soul um i take it and i just you know it makes me happy it puts back in my life what i don't have and even in that moment of feeling um you know insecure or sad or um not enough motivation it just brings life to the day thank you so much thank you everyone for your contributions god bless amen thank you all is for it is is there anyone else who would like to share we can probably take one last testimony if there is any and then we'll get started into tonight's session so we can finish on time I'll just like to thank and praise God uh, yes, for the God gift brother. of life, for the gift of life for this entire year that has gone by, Lord. We thank and praise you, Lord. I thank and praise you for being by my side. Thank you, Lord, for the spiritual authority, Lord, that you have you have shown us, Lord, and you have taught us how to fight every plan of the enemy, every attack, Lord, that we that we face. every single day thank you lord for dying for me lord you chose to die for me and you give me your precious blood to pour over myself my family and the entire brisbane prayer group thank you lord for your mercy lord your mercy that you pour into my life every single day your precious blood lord that we can pour over our entire families and this household lord thank you lord for your word thank you holy spirit for living in us lord for dwelling in us thank you lord for your revelations Thank you, Lord, for working for our good, Lord, in every situation in our lives, Lord. Thank you for your yes. favor, yes. for your goodness, Lord, that chases us every day, Lord. Every every day of our lives, your goodness is is chasing us, Lord. We thank you. Thank you, Lord, for all your plans that you have for us, Lord, in store for us. As we are in December, we start a new year very soon, Lord. All your plans for the new year for us, for our families, and this entire household, Lord. We thank you for all the plans that you have in store for us. We we surrender them. We surrender this entire year, this new year that is coming up, Lord. Uh, we thank and praise you, Lord, for every new thing, Lord, that you have in store for us. Every new plan that you have in store for us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Abba Father. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord.